Today, we're gonna bring an actually a 12 inch portable monitor. If you guys can see, this is everything you get. First of all, you get the actual cables. They give you uh, a type A to type C connection, all right? They give you a micro HDMI to actually an HDMI 2.0. Uh, they give you an external USB connection so you can power it up in case you don't have power coming out of your system. Uh, or if you're going to use your phone, you can you power it up. External, Type-C to Type-C connection. And then they give you a little kickstand. And this one has a little, it kind of like, there's some clicking noise here where actually you can elevate it whatever level you want. And the system will automatically sit here in these padded area in the bottom. Of course, you get the box with it and the instructions and a warranty card in a cleaning cloth because it does does it does get some um actually fingerprints in here if you guys notice the screen is really small it's a little glossy if you guys see the light but there's a little blurriness on the glossiness so it reflects a lot of the light on one side you got pretty much an exit button uh, a scroll key uh, arrow up and down and then your audio 3.5 jack that goes in here that you could connect in here so this has internal speakers of course and then you have two type c connections you have a type c connection here one could be for power and one could be for display of course and then you got your micro hdmi connection in here so everything embeds in one side on the connection part of it so if you have a computer that's a type c and you're gonna, that will be able to power it up and also display through there. But if you have a computer that has a HDMI, you are gonna need power. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and connect the power and the power goes on the bottom, all right? Not the top, it goes on the bottom, right? Once you set up the power, it's gonna turn up automatically with no signal. We're gonna connect a droid. We have a Samsung Galaxy um, 20, I believe it is. So we're gonna, it's a, it's a large one, we're gonna connect it. We're gonna go ahead and connect the USB on the top of it. And we have it on, you could set up automatically to automatically find it. If you guys notice, it just found my phone automatically. So we are getting a signal in the actual display. And this is only using the droid. And I'm actually using the droid to display. Now using the same connection where we have our power, which is in the bottom. Then I got to go, I, I actually have an iPad Pro here. We're going to connect it to USB Type-C to Type-C. And we're just gonna connect it into the system itself. And if you're gonna notice, it's blank in here, but give it a couple of seconds, it comes up. If you have an automatic, it will pick up automatically. All right, so we did an iPad, we did a Droid, and we can do iPhone too, but it's the same thing like an iPad. So we're gonna actually do now our PC. And this was an actual Surface that we're gonna do, all right? On the Surface itself, all you gotta do is find the connections. There's two connections on the Surface. So just remember that the power goes in the bottom and the actual connection physical goes on the top. So once you get it going there, all you gotta do is connect it, all right? Once you connect it, it takes about a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes before it starts kicking in here. Um, so like I said, it's just kicked in automatically, simple. Um, you can start dragging things in there. Or you could set it up as a single monitor to, to spread the monitor, or you could do dual monitor. We're gonna use the micro HDMI to HDMI. Let's go ahead and do that. and we got power here, you guys can see that. Now, if you have a micro USB, you don't need power to it, you can just power it and display it through the actual system. So we're gonna do that by itself with one single cable on this same monitor because it does have a micro USB. So let's go ahead and do that. The back of it, uh, well, you see the type C connection, plug it in. So as you can see, one cable, it's gonna display and power it up at the same time. Now, so now let's take a look at some of the features that the that that the actual monitor has. If you guys can see it sideways, you can't really see it sideways. You have to be like really in front of it. And 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 then there's actually a blur brightness meter that you put it up all the way up. And I'm gonna put it all the way up so you guys can see it's a sideways. Let's see if you guys can see it sideways. So this is pretty much how you basically see it, but if you put it sideways, you're gonna see a little bit off, all right? So just to give you guys this heads up. Now, if you click on, on it right here, if you click on the actual button, you see more features in here, all right? There's uh, each position, V position, and then main time and transition, right? And brightness, contrast, um, black equalizer, and game mode. And then finally is, um, Saturation, hue, and sharpness. And then type C connection. And right now we're connecting at 1366 by 768. 
at 59.9.8 hertz, all right? So you get a lot of kick for this, and then you could game on this. So check out the volume on this one. It's pretty low, actually. Sounds pretty good in here on the external monitor. So, and you can control the volume in here, up and down. So we're gonna put it all the way up. Fully blast right now. Um, we could go ahead and start a game. You could hear it. It's actually pretty loud. So we're playing on the PlayStation 5 here on the actual monitor, if you guys can see that. Um, we are giving it power and we are on a HDMI, so, uh, but you could play with this. Look at the quality of it. And this is a PlayStation 5. Let me go in and hit X. You guys can see it and it's pretty loud. So, really cool. I like this whole setup. I like the monitor itself. The quality of it, it's really good. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more so you guys can see it. But we're gonna keep it on the PlayStation 5 for now. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.